Hey guys, Jay back again for Wix Wires and uh, we've got Mitch's Pontiac back. So it is back uh, and well, still looking about as good as the day it left. It is back, and uh, like I said last time, which I'll put a little link up in the corner there, uh, it was going to come back for a custom center console. So, as it is, here's the car, and uh, there is the original console, which as you can see is a bit very, very, very mature. So of course in here, you can see it was a bit average. Um, it's got a few cracks and uh, I mean, hey, look, at the end of the day, it is still a, hang on, what year's the car? 69, so that makes it a, what? 53 year old console. It's doing all right for 53. I doubt I'll look that good in at 53, but whatever. Sam look that good. Actually, that nearly as old as me. It's nearly as old as Sam. And my cracks are just Ha! Wow. The cracks increases, huh? personality. So of course, I have been a busy boy and I've made up a console. So let's go have a squiz. So there is our console. Um, and the idea of this was keep it as simple as possible while you know, making it effective, of course. So there was a few little design ideas and stuff that we had. Obviously the carbon was a thing. We did have the carbon in the previous version of the um, console. But yeah, obviously wanted to flow it through to this one. And then to add a little bit of extra as well, um, we obviously went and did the extra side pieces on here, which just breaks it up a little bit, gives it a little bit of flair. Um, and of course they are now painted in a matte black as well, which, you know, obviously to match that. So we've got our suede in the center, our vinyl on the outside, which is obviously matching to what's in the boot, and then our lights to, again, match our boot style. So we have a look at that, and we go straight back to there. You can see it all integrates. So it's very cool. The way this went down is basically, obviously started out with our side panels here. Once I have my side panels worked out, then got some structure in the middle of it. Made some bracing for the front and the rear. And then once I had my bracing done, uh, obviously I could start making up our center channel. Then it was a case of locating where everything was gonna go. So obviously relocating our switch panel. Had just moved from the previous console. And we also managed to keep the shifter surround, which, which was also part of the other console that I made. That was a bonus that I got to keep that and reuse it. So I didn't have to make that other strip of carbon up again. Um, so the other thing we've now done here as well, which I think is very cool. You can see our little pocket area that's up the front there. Well, if I take my phone and throw him in there, whoop. There you go, we've got some wireless charging. So I managed to pull apart a Qi charger and uh, get that mounted into the panel there. You can see I just basically took the panel, marked it out, got it to fit in nice and flush, the epoxy it into place, and Bob's your auntie. So that was a good win, and that works really well. So that's a bit of a boss thing. Now that obviously brought us around to trimming, which brings us to the next bit. And again, like I was saying just before, uh, obviously I wanted to run with the same styling as what we've done in the boot. The suede, top of the console, 
and obviously the vinyl on the outsides. And I'll say, um, it was a bit of a bitch. But I got it done, and that's what matters. And it looks wicked. Something we wanted to go with, which was gonna make it sort of flow and match, was keep it in a way that it actually follows some of the lines that are already in the car. So you can see our kick panel shape there, and if you have a look at our shape here, that is now following that uh, angle of the kick panel. So when you look in from this angle, you can see it follows that shape. So then the part on the side here then does virtually the same thing. You can see we've got our you can see we've got our line coming down, which then follows down and through here. So there we go guys, Mitch's car back and done again, but I guess uh, until next time, like, subscribe, tell me what you think of the build. I think I'm a bit of a fan of this console to be honest, for uh, I mean, I've spent three days on it and it looks mwah, so I'm very happy with it. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye.